Hi everybody and welcome to Tuesday's lesson. Um, today we are learning the functions of the digestive system. So I keep looking over here to look at my notes and to look at the resources that I'm going to show you. So today, um, this sheet, if you're working from home, you might want to have this sheet if you've got it, but I'm going to be sharing that on the screen. So up to you if you want it. Um, you're going to need um, this sheet. Um, again, you could trim it, like I said yesterday, you could trim it so that it fits in your book nicely. And then you'll also need this sheet to go with it. Now, depending, I'll explain in a minute about the challenges, but you can either, you'll either need this section or this section, not both. And then you'll need scissors and glue, which you'd all have in your pencil cases. Um, the other thing that's in here is this text. It is um, the text. Oh, I can't get my fingers in there. The questions and some and the answers. Now that is just if you want to do some extra learning, if you want to do extra reading comprehension, or if you're just really interested in the digestive system. That is totally up to you. You don't have to do that. So let me get my sheets back. Oh, I thought I'd lost something there, so that's fine. I found it. Um, and I've also done a. Here's what I made earlier, where I can show you what to do. So let's go on to screen sharing. I think I've got everything up ready, or I hope I do. So screen sharing, and then I need this one. So I'm going to read this through to you. I'm going to check it's the right one, yeah. So I'm going to read this through to you. You are welcome to skip this bit if you want to, if you want to read it to yourself. Um, you can read along, but make sure you're listening because we're going to do a game called Fastest Finger where I'm going to leave this on the screen and you've got to try and find um, some answers or put your finger on a particular word or something. So, all about your digestive system. Have you ever wondered what happens to your food after you've chewed it in your mouth? Your body is amazing and has a system that sorts and uses the food you eat to make sure you get everything you need to stay healthy. It's called your digestive system. Here's how it works. Before the stomach, firstly, we all know that you put food in your mouth to eat it. You enjoy the taste and the texture of the food whilst your teeth break it down into smaller pieces. Saliva is then mixed with it to help make it softer and break it down. Also, your mouth cools it or warms it to an, ex an acceptable temperature for you to swallow. When the food is broken down enough, it is swallowed and goes down to your stomach via a tube called the esophagus, pronounced esophagus. I wish they had that for lots of the tricky words. Uh, muscles in the esophagus move in waves to move the food down to your stomach. So they kind of do that and they, they push the food down. These muscles are so good at this job that they could even get the food to your stomach if you were standing on your head. But don't try this. So here's a little fact file. Uh, the average adult eats about 500 kilograms of food per year. Wow, that's quite a lot, isn't it? Uh, your body can produce up to 1.5 litres of saliva every day. Wow, that's a lot of saliva. Um, an adult esophagus, so the tube from your mouth down to your stomach, is about 25 centimetres long. Now the rulers that you have here are 30 centimetres long, so your esophagus it's that long. So think about it. Whoa. Think about where your stomach would then be. Okay, and the final thing, which I think is amazing, a camera has been invented now that is so small, sorry, that is as small as a pill called pill cam. It can be swallowed, so it passes through your esophagus in order to take photos of the inside of your body. It can take up to fi uh, 55,000 pictures over the eight hours that it's in there. It's been used since 2001 to let doctors see inside patients. Wow, have a think about why that would be needed. How crazy. Okay, at the stomach. When the chewed up and softened food arrives in the stomach, stomach, which is a stretchy sack shaped like a letter J, you can see it on the picture here. It's this um, red bit here, or pinky bit. Um, it is mixed with acids and enzymes called, oh, which is pronounced enzymes, that break the food down. Once it's broken down, it looks a bit like porridge. It is a substance called chyme. 
The stomach juices also help to kill any bad bacteria that might be in the food, which could potentially make you ill. So that's in the stomach. Then next, after the stomach, the next part of the journey for your food, which doesn't look like food anymore, is through the small intestine. It's here that all the goodness is taken out of the food, which goes off to different places in your body. So this is where the, the small intestine takes all the goodness and sends it off to where it's needed in your body. It's very clever. Uh, when the small intestine has done its job of getting all the goodness out of the food, all the material that is unwanted goes into the large intestine. Then it makes its way out of your body as poo at the end of your large intestine. So there you have it. Isn't your body clever? Right then, so first up, we're going to play a little game. I'm going to ask you some questions and you just try and find your answer. You might want to use your finger and point at the screen. You might want to shout it out at the screen. Absolutely, absolutely up to you. So we are learning about the what system. The answer was the digestive system. A nice big title there. Um, where does food first, how does food first get into your body? through your mouth so before the stomach it goes into your mouth now can anybody find I'm trying to scroll sorry to make sure that I keep it in the right places and so that you can find the answers um what is the liquid that is mixed in your mouth with the food to make it softer the answer was saliva so even if you smell so something else that's quite interesting, when people say, oh, it's mouth, mouth watering, if you smell something that's really delicious, then your mouth starts to make saliva before you even put food in there because it's your mouth is watering, literally. It is um, it thinks you're about to eat, so it starts preparing. Um, once the food's broken down, what is the tube that the food travels down to your stomach in? It was the esophagus. It's a bit of a tricky one to say, esophagus. Um, what makes the food move down the esophagus? That was muscles that move in a wave form. Um, okay, can anybody tell me how long the esophagus is? It is 25 centimetres. You can see it just here. Super stuff. Right then, in our stomach, let's have a look. I'm going to ask you some quick, quick fire questions. Um, what are the two things that the food is mixed with in your stomach? The two things were acid and enzymes. Okay, when it's in your stomach and it's mixed with the, the acid and the enzyme, what does it look like? It looks like porridge. Fantastic. Um... Okay, and finally, let's have a think about after the intestine. Uh, sorry, after the stomach. Which intestine does it go into first? Yeah, so it is a small intestine first, and then the large intestine. Um, what does the small intestine do? It takes the goodness out of the food and it goes, uh, sends it on to different places in your body. Brilliant. When the food has finished um, in the large intestine, what happens to it? Yes, it comes out of your body as poo. Okay then, so that was learning some facts about our body. Um, there's now a video. I'm just going to sh show you the link because I can't actually show it to you. But um, on the same page where you would have found all this information, you've got this video here called How the Body Works. And that's a five minute video. It's a bit funny and silly at times, but it's very informative and it tells you even more body parts than the reading text that we've just done. Because you've got um, the mouth, the teeth, the tongue, the salivary gland, which is where the saliva is made, the esophagus, the stomach. I think it even talks about the pancreas, I can't remember, the liver and the gallbladder. These are ones that we haven't mentioned yet. The um, duodenum, I think is how you say that. That's the beginning of the small intestine. The small intestine, the large intestine, the rectum and the anus. So in this video, I think it tells you all of the sections of the body. Okay, so I'm going to go back to screen share now. And unscreen share. Perfect. 
So then the task to do once you have, um, we've done that text, you've watched the video, then the task you've got is um, this sheet here. Now the ones I said about to cut out, so sorry, you're going to have this sheet, stick that one into your book, you can trim it and then stick it in. And as you can see, it's got uh, different body parts all labelled and they have a letter by them. So for example, tongue, I'm reading this backwards, is D and teeth is A. OK, so on then this sheet, they also have letters to match it up. So level one, this is where I'm trying to, you can challenge yourself as much as you want. Depends how confident you're feeling. Level one is you cut them out and you match up the letters and you stick them in like how I have done here. So this part here says food is cut up and I can't read it upside down backwards. Food is cut up and ground up. Now underneath that is A, which is teeth. So it's got the body part and the function. OK, so that's what we're matching up today. Now, second step to make it a little bit more challenging. Level two would be um, leave this writing as it is, but where it has the letter, scribble it out, colour it in, whatever you want to do to hide it, to challenge yourself, to then match it up. So here you can see I coloured it in and then this one says stores and releases bile and that is the gallbladder. OK, so again, I've matched it up, but I've tried to challenge myself by not knowing which bit it goes with. And the final, final level, if you're feeling really confident, is to use this section here. And you look at all the names of the body, so the teeth, the mouth, the tongue, the esophagus, etc. And you write what that body part does on here. OK, so I've just done a kind of example. I've not actually written anything yet. But this would be, I've got a famous paper and under there is duodenum. And then I would write what that body part does on the piece of paper. OK, I hope that makes sense to you. Uh, like I said at the beginning, if you want to do some extra reading because you're really interested in the subject, then this pack here that's also with all the rest of the learning, that um, is an extra one. OK, um, but that is, I'm just checking, that is everything for today's lesson. I hope you enjoy the YouTube video and I hope you enjoy making uh, the, fl the flip activity.